Okay, so we move over to the school canteen for the next part of the prac, which is on thermal sensation. So what we have here is three beakers, one with water at 20 degrees, one at 30 degrees, one at 40 degrees. So my lab partner, Melissa, again, is going to be the subject. And she is going to start by putting one finger into the cold, or that one can go in the warm beaker. Let me direct you. <laughs> and another finger, please, into the 20 degree beaker. Okay, so in this situation, Melissa's now waited for two minutes with her finger in, uh, one finger in the cold beaker and one finger in the hot water beaker. And what we're going to ask her to do is to transfer each finger into the warm water beaker. So going from 40 degrees to 30 degrees, first of all, and describe the sensation uh, that she feels. And so when moving from the hot water beaker to the warm water beaker, she described um, that the water was a little bit cooler. Whereas when we moved her hand from the 20 degree cold water beaker to the warm water beaker, she described that it was much warmer. So this raises the question about how can she perceive these two different things um, given that both fingers are now at the temperature of 30 degrees. And so I think the really key thing with this experiment is that it shows that with thermoception, we're not actually sensing the absolute temperature of, in this case, water or an object. And what we're really sensing is the change in temperature uh, between the, the skin and the object that we're now touching. So in this way, after Melissa has adapted one finger to 40 degrees and one finger to 20 degrees, moving both of those fingers into 30 degree water, she'll feel quite different things um, in each finger. So it's really just a demonstration that our thermoception system doesn't sense absolute temperature Instead, it senses the change in temperature or really loss of heat from the skin.